Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John Cullen and I and the wonderful, embraceable Bill Jordan get to speak about stuff oh, we like. Speaking of oh. embraceable, how about this? Embracing oh. the boom. Got that's it, guys. My, my, my mug that's also left-handed mug. Oh. Yeah, it's amphibious. I only have the, I, I have an early version that's only right-handed. But <laughs> I have I have a I have a book that I can hold in either hand. Yeah. Look at that. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Now Bill, well, if, if if I made the, the book, it's just it's it's uh 15 maybe more practices of helping you live a better, calmer, more fulfilling life as you get older. But it's a book that really everybody can benefit from or from which can benefit however you want to. Uh, I love the idea that uh, you don't want to commit to exactly how many practices are in here. Being a little uh, sneaky. Maybe yeah. more. Yeah. Kind of kind of gives it away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I think it's time to talk about number nine. Number nine. Number, number nine. nine. Yeah. Not number nine. Number nine. What is number nine? Number nine is discipline equals freedom, and it's a, and, and it's a why? close. Why it, did you come up with that? Well, actually, I'm lifting it from a best-selling book by two former U.S. Navy SEALs, Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, and uh, combat veterans in the Iraq War. And uh, uh, they came out with this book. And, and when I first saw the book and heard about this notion of discipline equals freedom, it made no sense to me. None. It just says it sounds like an oxymoron, you know, discipline. If I'm disciplined, I, I'm not free. I'm tied to this, that, or the other thing, or you know, behavior. It's a close cousin to practice number eight, which is don't let what you want now overrule what you want most. And what prompted it was I was picked up our grandson, Mason, and near where I picked him up was a place that had great milkshakes. Hey, Poppy, you ever been in that place before? I said, yeah, Mason, I've been in there. They have great milkshakes, Poppy. I said, I take it you want a milkshake. Yeah, I'd like a milkshake. You want a milkshake, Poppy? I said, well, I want one, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to get one. Well, why not? They're great. I said, well, I'm Mason, I'm trying to lose a little weight, and I'm just trying to, and there's this thing called uh, don't let what you want uh, now overrule what you want most. And what I want most is that I want to lose weight. So I'm taking this little bit of a step at a time. Well, he got his milkshake. I did not. But that segues into discipline equals freedom. The notion of it is, in a nutshell, let's say you have the discipline to save money with every paycheck. You have discipline to save that and invest that. And it may you know, cramp your lifestyle right now, but down the road, you'll have a little nest egg and you will have the freedom to maybe knock off some of those bucket list items that you've been thinking about and dreaming about for your whole life. Maybe you have the discipline of eating better or less, and you'll have the freedom of a healthier being down the road. See where I'm going with this? Yeah. Uh, or, or physicality. If I have the discipline of doing, even if it's 25 push-ups a day for four days out of the week, and I only say that because it makes the math easier, that's 100 push-ups a week, that's 400 a month, that's 4,800 push-ups a year, I will then have the freedom of being in better physical condition and what that will allow me to do. So that's the connection. <clears throat> Having the discipline to do what you say you're going to do, following your own best advice on these, on these things, setting up these, what, what goals you have, where do you want to be, what systems can you put in place to get there, and then you have the freedom of what that goal provides depending on what your goal is. If your goal is you, you want to weigh 800 pounds, I mean, that's up to you. I don't know if that would be freedom. Does that make sense? Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of sense. And Bill, I, what I think I love about your book altogether is the fact that you uh, short, sweet chapters, but you explain these concepts very well, just like you, you did freedom equals or discipline equals freedom. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I mean, my, you know, background of 40 years in radio, we were, you know, less is more, never take 30 seconds to say what you can say in 15. So I kind of got that down to, to it, it is precise. And the book, I'll, I'll hold it up again because it's just so little and I can lift it. 
Uh, <laughs> it's 15 practices, and I just I just gave it to a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago, and he shot me a text later on that evening. And he said the beauty of this is what he had heard about before in some of the reviews that it's gotten on, on Amazon. It's not necessarily a book you sit down and read cover to cover. It's a book that today, maybe Monday, you start on practice number right. one. And then Tuesday, you do practice number two. That's how I read the book. So I've rotated through it, the 15-ish practices in it. So you can rotate through the book, reading it once a day, twice a month. After a few months, maybe not even that long, you will catch yourself like, it, you know, hey, you want that milkshake? Yeah, but I want to lose. We're going yeah. to the beach in a couple of weeks. I want the milkshake. You know, you want to lose weight, weigh every day. Yeah. Every well, day. That's, that's just one discipline. example. As you say, there's 15 or maybe more. Ish, ish. 15 ish um, <laughs> examples of good practices for life. So I mean, so I, I, I want to yeah. I, I add, add something uh, uh, on this as well. Is Certainly that are. The fact that you can hold that book up for that long. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm lifting up. Okay. So the, all those the, push ups. What the the push-ups, a hundred push-ups a week, oh, only four days, okay? And you're able to hold that. Look how long you're holding that book up. Look at the strength that you've gotten it, from that. It, Just it practice nine. Yeah. I yeah. That. yeah. Uh, and by the way, uh, I think John was looking at the very beginning when he was talking about his cup. That mine is only you know uh, the right-handed cup. He has an ambidextrous cup, and it's this is an ambi ambidextrous book. Yeah, kind of. Okay, Li literally, look at this. Either hand, equally. <laughs> That's it. Well, anyway, I hope you will uh, embrace, as we say, the notion of discipline equals freedom. And by the way, not only my book, but read that book by Jocko Willink and, and Leif Babb and Discipline Equals Freedom and many more examples of how that will pay off if we have just a little bit of self-discipline. You know, again, there is pain. We have the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Mm -hmm. You choose and we choose, and let's choose wisely. Great advice. Bill, thank you. And thank you for helping us all embrace our age and enjoy life. That's it. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.